We are on Unit 1, Section 2. We're ready to go. Hopefully that first section wasn't a problem. Today we're looking at solving equations and inequalities. It's mostly the review. And I got a picture of Sully here from high school. So you might be wondering, what's that about? All right, well, I got this weird story. Don't tell Sully because he's a little bit embarrassed about it. But this summer, I'm chilling out on Twitter, right? I got at the Algebros. That's our handle. I'm sitting there going through some theorems and math geeky things. It's the coolest thing. But anyways, I get this message. Mariah Carey Twitterated us. It says, hey there, at the Algebros. That's a real Twitterate from Mariah Carey. Trust me, we know what we're doing. Can you help me decode this message from Sully? It's been a super long time. XOXO. So I'm like, totally, I click on the little Instagram thing. I get this little inequality, which I rewrote up here. I'm thinking, oh my God, what's going on? So I call up Bruss. I'm like, Bruss, what's up with this? Well, come to find out. Don't bring this up in front of him. Just let it go. But when he was growing up, he was in love with Mariah Carey. In fact, one day he wrote her a Valentine's card with a note. You're my hero. Simplify for my true feelings. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to help out Mariah. We have to decode this message. Okay, now this, remember, this is Sully. Here's a picture of Sully in high school. Uh, I'm digging the pocket protector. Let's go through and see what we have once we uh, simplify this. Because today we're going to be working with inequality, so this is perfect. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to distribute, just like an equation. We're going to get 9x minus 7i is greater than... 9x, what do you get? Minus 21u. All right, so to simplify, I would probably, oh, I didn't tell you, there's a little hint. The hint is we want to solve this thing for i. All right, let's get rid of the x's. We have 9x on both sides, so let's subtract 9x. All right, what do we get when we do that? So if we subtract 9x, we get negative 7i is greater than, all right, they cancel, they cancel, negative 21u. We got to divide by negative 7. This is a good review because when we divide by a negative, if you remember, you divide by a negative, that sign has to switch. So it's i less than negative 21 over negative 7. Oh, that's a less than heart thing. You. Oh my god. That's his message. That is ridiculous. Can't believe I just spent time on that. That is ridiculous. Sully. Anyways. I can't believe it. Anyway, we're going to review solving linear equations. We're going to do the first three. I'm going to do the first three, and then you can do the last two. And as you can see, there's some fractions on here, and we have a distributive property and everything going. So let's get at it so we can get through the stuff. Uh, the first one, if you notice, what do we have here? n minus 2 plus 8n equals 7. I'm going to combine like terms first. Now, what we taught you in algebra is always draw a line down the equal sign. Okay, we're getting to the point where you don't necessarily have to do that, but it's a good idea. We're going to have 1n plus 8n. That's 9n. We have the minus 2 equals 7. Okay, so then we're at this point. This is a two-step equation. We're going to add 2 to each side. We're going to get 9n equals 9. And from there, I can get n equals 1. So that's easy enough. Please make sure you put a little circle or box around your answer so that we know what's going on. All right, second one. Now, here's where all of that LCM stuff from the last section came in. What you need to do, I don't like this equation because we could combine like terms and you can use your calculator and do it the old-fashioned way just like uh, number one here. But there's an easier way. Trust me, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply every single term. Okay, We're actually multiplying both sides of the equation by whatever the least common multiple of the denominators is. So this has a, a denominator of one, so I'm not worried about that. But we have a 4 a 2, a 4, and a 2. So what is the LCM of 4 and 2? All right, that equals 4. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply every single term, even these on this side. I'll put a little 4 over here on those sides by 4. Okay, so what do we get when we do that? 4 times negative 2a. That's going to be, let me change color here so we don't get mixed up, negative 8a. And 4 times negative 9 over 4, the 4s would cancel, and you're left with minus 9. 4 times 3 over 2, 2 cancels with a 4, you're left with a 2. 2 times 3 is 6, so we get a positive 6 equals. And hopefully you can see what's going on here. As I multiply through, uh, it takes care of all of the fractions. No more fractions. And then I'm left with a nice, simple, multi-step equation like number 1 here. I'm going to combine some like terms. Negative 8a, what are we going to get here? Minus 3 equals negative 1 minus 6a. Let me add 8a to each side. 
draw the line. We have the 8a's canceling. Negative 3 equals negative 1 plus 2a. I'm going to add 1 to each side. Uh, Mr. Kelly's kind of running out of room here. But we're going to get negative 2 equals 2a, and then negative 1 will equal a. Divide your side by 2. That's easy enough, right? Okay, so the last one here, we have a double distributive property. So we're going to have 4 minus 16n equals negative 12n. We have minus 8. And then this negative 4 is just chillaxing out at the end. We're going to combine some like terms. All right, 4 minus 16n. Now what are we going to do? Well, I always, remember, you find the variable, the term with the small, the smallest term with a variable. There, I said that correctly. The smallest term with a variable is right here, negative 16, compared with negative 12. All right, do the opposite, and that'll make sure that your stuff ends up positive when you divide. What are we going to get? 4 equals 4n minus 12. If I add 12 to both sides, 16 will equal 4n, or 4 will equal n. Okay, divide each side by 4. So n equals 4 in that one. What I want you to do is numbers 4 and 5 right now. Pause the video. Sir. Okay, so I have all of 4 up here for you. Then I'll go over 5 step by step because it's a little more complicated. So looking at 4, we have distributive property on both sides. Doing that's going to give us 2 minus 6n. We have the plus 5 hanging out here. And then we have a negative 8n minus 4. All right, so at that point, let me use a different color here. I'm going to... Combine like terms, so we have this 2 and this 5. That's where the 7 comes from. The negative 6n kind of floats down. Equal sign stays. Uh, and the right-hand side, I'm just going to leave it the way it is because nothing simplifies. I then add, I always find the, vari the term with the variable that's the smallest. So that's the negative 8n. Okay, I do the opposite, so I add 8n to each side. I'm going to get 2n. The 7 comes down, the equal sign. They cancel out. You get a negative 4. Subtract 7 from each side, you get a negative 11. Divide by 2, you get negative 11 halves. All right, number 5. We're looking at it. Maybe you finish this. If not, once I give you the LCM, then you can, uh, you can quit there. But look, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2. Okay, the LCM of those numbers is a 6. So I'm going to multiply every term by 6. How many terms do we have there? Okay, so... As I said, you can use your calculator if you want. Um, what I do is I do a little canceling in my head because I go 6 and the 3 cancel. It'll leave a 2 up here. 2 times negative 2, that's a negative 4. So I'm going to add negative 4k right here. And then if you keep going with it, you're going to get a 3 times 9. Okay, that's minus 27. Equals, we have 6 and 2, they'll give you 3, minus 9. You following me here? And then we have 3, that'll give you 2, that'll be minus 8. And then lastly, we have 3 minus 3 is minus 9k. Okay, after some combining like terms, this doesn't look too bad. Okay, you just have, what's that going to give us? Negative 17 minus 9k. And as I said before, find the term of the variable. Uh, the smaller one, negative 9k is the smallest. So we add 9k to each side. There we go. They cancel out. We're going to get 5k minus 27 equals negative 17. We're going to add 27 to each side. We're going to get 5k equals, what do we get here? 17, blah, 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 10, and then k will equal 2. Okay? So that's how you do one of those fraction equations. That's why we did LCM. By the way, did you notice over here, if you go to the algebra uh, website, section 3, 4, it'll teach you how to simplify these type of equations, these type of equations. Uh, once you get those fractions out, then it's all section 3, 4. So we're going to assume you're good with that. We're going to move on. The next thing we're going to learn about or review, we're actually reviewing still, is uh, about we're learning about inequalities. All right, so we have a couple of inequalities. I'm going to show you what the different signs are. Students always want to know. Less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, greater than or equal to. And the way that I always tell students to remember it, this sign right here can be easily made into an L. And that's what less than is, okay? So less than is the L. Um, but that being said, we always read the inequality from the variable, okay? So if your teacher's talking about symbols, these are the symbols they mean, okay? If they're reading left to right. But we always read from the inequality. So the first one's easy enough. This is what? This is x, symbol, whatever that is, 21. That is what? That is x is less than, 
less than or equal to 21. Easy enough, but what about B? Okay, you read it from the variable. So we're going to start here, and we're going to go this way this time. So instead of saying 3 is less than D, we're going to read it as D, and look, the alligator's eating the D, okay, or Pac-Man, or the whale, or whatever you learn, the fish. D is bigger than 3, so I'm going to write D is greater than 3. Easy enough. What about C? I would read this from the Y. You read it from the variable. Y is less than 1. So Y is less than 1. And the last one, V is less than or equal to 3.14. Okay, now the reason why we want to do that, it's going to help you graph. Now you tell me, what's easier to graph? 3 is less than D, or D is greater than 3? Okay, if you're in your head, you're thinking about these two, 3 is less than D, or D is greater than 3. D is greater than 3 makes more sense, especially when you're graphing on a number line, like we're going to do right here. D is greater than 3. You start at 3 and you go to the bigger numbers. All right, so the first one we have, X is greater than ne negative 3. Remember, we should probably add this in here. Open circle, when do we use that? Close circle, when do we use that? You remember? The open circle is 4, less than, and greater than. And the closed circle is less than, equal to, greater than, equal to. And the way you want to remember it is, see, they fill it in for a reason. The reason they fill it in is because it includes that point. And that's the equal part. The equal part is the filling in part. So I don't know how you're going to remember this. If it's underlined, you've got to fill it in. That's the way I used to remember it. All right, so x is greater than negative 3. Because it's not equal to, we're putting an open circle, and it's greater than, so we're going to the right. These numbers are greater. Be careful when it's negative, because negative 2 is actually greater than negative 3. We put a nice arrow on there, and it's got to be really clear what we're doing here. Okay, number 2. x is greater than or equal to 1. That's the way I read that. And if you want to rewrite it with the x first, you can do that if you switch the sign. Remember when we solve inequalities, you can switch the sign when you divide by negative 1? Okay, well, right now you switch the sign. What we're doing is we're subtracting x from each side. We're subtracting 1 from each side. It'll be a negative x, and then you divide by negative 1. Voila, the sign switches. Anyway, that was a lot of stuff. I'll tell you what, just graph it like this. x is greater than 1. x is greater than or equal to 1, I mean. So we're going like this. Ta-da! Graphing compound inequalities. All right, so these are compound it's like in english compound words knucklehead all right so if you hear the word knucklehead it's a combination of two things your knuckle and a head knucklehead okay so this is very similar you have two inequalities that you're putting together as one so the first inequality is right here check this out and how would we read that x is greater than or equal to negative four okay so that's the first inequality the next inequality well, the next inequality would be x is less than 2. So you have to graph those at the same time. All right, easy enough. So we get out our little, uh, I'm going to look at down here because this makes it easy. x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So i got to fill that one in because it's or equal to. Okay, but it's just less than 2, so that's an open circle. And it's everything in the middle at the same time. Now, if you notice what happens is, this end point corresponds there, this end point corresponds there, and X is in the middle. It's everything. You shade in the middle. All right, now what happens if it's not in the middle? Well, then they have to use an or. Okay, not like a boat or, but this or. So X is less than negative 1. Okay, so that would be open circle. X is less than negative 1. And X is greater than or equal to 1. So you got to close that, fill that circle in, and we go greater than. Okay, that's a review. If you need more help, algebra, 7, 3. It'll go through it all. Okay, we're going to move on, do a couple examples, two-step. These are, I'll do the first one, you do the next one. How's that? Okay, the first one, what do we have here? If you want, you can multiply everything by 3. That's the LCM. I'm not going to do that, though, this time because, let me rewrite it here. You don't have to rewrite it. But then I'll add 7 to each side. We get 2 thirds X has to be greater than, 30. The way I'm going to solve it, you can divide by two-thirds if you want, but I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Remember that? Multiply by the reciprocal. And what that does is that cancels out everything here. It's positive, so the sign doesn't change. We get x 
is greater than, that will cancel. That's 15, that's 1. We get a 45, and we're all done. All right? Now, you can use your calculator there if you want to, just 30 times 3 halves. 3 halves is 1.5, which is 1 and a half. 1 and a half of 30 is 45. All right, you do number 6. Ready, go. Pause the video. All right, how'd you do with it? Did you change the sign? Because that's why we have number 6 here. Subtract 6 from each side. We get negative 4 is less than or equal to 4. And I forgot my x in there. Negative 4x is less than or equal to 4. I divide by a negative. Divide by a negative. Remember what that does? That switches the sign the other way. So you have to make sure that you do that. Don't forget. Answer here is x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So when do you switch that sign? When you divide or multiply by a negative. Okay, so number 7 and number 8. Uh, I'll do 7, you do 8. How's that? Deal? Deal. I'm going to rewrite it down here so I have lots of room. Okay, you don't have to do that. But we have negative 33 is less than or equal to 6k minus 3 is less than or equal to 57. All right, this works. You can do two. I tell you what, you have two options. You can either do this. You can either cover up this part here. Watch. Go right to there. There's your first equation. Solve it. If you want to do it this way. All right. And then you can cover up the second part. Ooh, technology. Not there, silly. Okay, so 6K minus 3 is less than or equal to 57. Solve both of those. Or I'm going to show you the solve everything at the same time method because you know why? We have, this, is, <laughs> this isn't an equation. It's an inequality. And you know how we normally draw the line down it? Well, here we have two lines. Okay, that's what we draw down. So you're looking at the K, the variable's where it's at. We want to find that variable. We've got to do the opposite. So I'm going to add 3 to each and every side and then you can draw a line all right so they cancel in the middle and i'm left with 6k here's a less than or equal to so 57 plus 3 is 60 negative 33 plus 3 is negative 30 and we can't forget our less than or equal to all right so now what we divide by 6 all the way across so we're going to get negative 5 is less than or equal to k which is less than or equal to 10. So how do we graph that? Well, first off, we have to put a 10 on here, 10. And I'm going to start at negative 5. It's a closed circle. I'm going to go to 10. That's a closed circle. And then it's everything in between. All right? So I'm going to finish this. You pause the video and do number 8 all by yourself. But i got to warn you, there's a negative in 8. I always give you the negatives. They're the hard ones. Go! Okay, looking at number 8, I see I have in the middle here, look at this, 5 minus 2v. All right, I'm going to rewrite this out here so that we have it all nice and clear. I'm going to make sure we don't forget any of our equal to's right there. We got less than or equal to, less than or equal to. All right, so I want to solve for v. This works just like an equation. As we said, I'm going to subtract 5. We're going to get rid of this. Let's change the color so we can watch each step. So I'm going to get rid of the 5 first from each and every part. We're going to subtract 5. Okay, so they're going to cancel there. What do we get? Negative 13 minus 5 is negative 18. We have a less than or equal to. These canceled out. We have negative 2v, uh, less than or equal to 2. That's awesome. Now what are we going to do? Divide by negative 2. Now here's the problem. When you divide by a negative, I done gave you good warning. When you divide by a negative, you have to change the sign of the inequality. So we get positive 9. These guys flip. We get a V, because they cancel out here. This guy flips. Don't forget your equal sign. And we get a negative 1. All right, now, the only problem with this, this is technically, I guess it's correct, but the only problem with this is we like to write our smallest number over here and our largest number over here. That's the way the number line goes, right? Least to greatest. And so V's in the middle. But the problem is if we change it around, this says that V is less than 9. And V is greater than negative 1. So you have to flip the signs around if you flip uh, the order of it, the direction. The same thing works for like, this is like made up. K is greater than 10. If I wanted to write 10 is, I can't write greater than. I have to switch the sign, less than K. All right, that has nothing to do with this problem. But here's your final answer there. Negative 1 is less than or equal to V, which is less than or equal to 9. Are we ready for 9 and 10? Let's do it. All right, so if I rewrite the equations, that's what I get. Tell you what, pause the video and do number nine. You can do 10 if you're confident. Otherwise, I'll work you through it. But at least do number nine right now. Pause the video. Go. 
All right, so I worked through 9 here. Don't forget to divide by a negative. Uh, we have negative x here. When you subtract 1, you get negative x. you got to divide by negative 1. That flips the sign. So you get x is greater than or equal to 7. Let's do that one real quick. Solid circle filled in because it's equal to. We're going to put our shaded line going to the right. Uh, the other one, I just add 4 to each side. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative, sorry, negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. So negative 5 is right here. We're going to go less than or equal to, so I'm going to fill that one in as well. All right, don't forget to divide by that negative. You switch the signs. Now, looking at 10, after you distribute, uh, we have to combine some like terms. All right, so what do we get here? Negative 20 plus 1. That's negative 19. So now, as I said, you find the term that is smaller. So negative 10 is smaller than 8 because you have variables on both sides. We're going to add 10n to each side. I think I see where this is going. They cancel. We get negative 1 plus 18n is greater than or equal to negative 19. If I add 1 to each side, you can kind of see how these things work out. 18n is greater than or equal to negative 18. I divide by 18 we get negative 1. Do I switch the sign or not? No, because we divide by a positive. So it's n is greater than or equal to negative 1. And that's it for that one. So I go up to negative 1, greater than, equal to, fill it in. Hey, these are all fill it in ones. Don't forget your open circles. Should have done more examples with those. But that's it. Hey, you guys are all my heroes. Ha. All right, Carrie. Loving it. Remember, this is Mr. Kelly Baumholder. It's nice to be important. It's more important to be nice. See ya!